Hello. U.S. Treasury yields are extending yesterday's losses today, but are still on course for weekly gains as can also be said for the dollar index. As a result, commodity prices have gained back their losses from earlier this week. Oil will most likely close the week with a weekly green bar with support from the undersupplied market, while precious metals are still on course for a weekly red bar. The easing of the Treasury yields has also boosted trader sentiment for the stock market, as U.S. stock futures rise early today. Powering the upwards movement were the gains in mega-cap stocks such as Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, and Alphabet. The 10-year Treasury yield is still above 4.5%, a historically high and risky figure, but morale seems to be up as advancements in the stock futures indicate that traders expect yields to continue their descent. Today's Michigan consumer sentiment data due at 10 a.m. Eastern Time should provide more information. The U.S. House of Representatives is expected to vote on a short-term funding bill today as lawmakers scramble to avoid a government shutdown set to begin this weekend. This legislation seems unlikely to pass the House vote, however, as some Republicans refuse to support the bill. The Democratic-controlled Senate is also unwilling to support the three bills that passed the House yesterday, indicating an impasse between the two sides. The United Auto Workers strike expansion deadline is today at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. At this time, the union will report the progress of labor talks between the big three Detroit automakers and decide whether to extend the scope of the walkouts. According to Reuters, the additional strikes would target General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis factories producing these companies' most popular vehicles, which could potentially cost the businesses billions of dollars in revenue and profit. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you a happy weekend.